Okay, so sorry about that. This is the second part of the tissue video. Two more quotes. Might fly our lives like paper kites. I think I've talked about these things uh, before. Um, the last point is that might, uh, that word might, well, we never know how paper could affect our lives. Uh, we might be affected by something the government writes that they haven't even written yet. So paper can really dominate us. Uh, turned into your skin, this fascinating last line. Um, this pronoun, your, is possessive, belongs to you. So the poem ends by showing how paper affects things that we consider to be ours. My family are affected by things written on paper, by our passports, by our government laws. The direct address, your, actually speaks directly to the reader. So the final line makes everything we've read so far seem much more personal to us. And the noun skin also seems very fragile, like paper. Skin is often described as papery in old age. Uh, and so this shows how fragile humans are, but just how, also how beautiful. So I hope that's useful. Um, you, if you want to revise tissue, um, to look at those quotes in more detail. And if you want something, this is a hard poem in any case, but if you want a really tricky piece of it to look at, how about this? An architect could use all of this. Well, this is very ambiguous. The a literal architect, and someone who's actually employed as an architect, uses paper to affect the three-dimensional world by making buildings. However, the word could uh, is interesting. And it's interesting that to choose architect, um, uh, buildings in literal sense control our lives and provide us with a home but a metaphorical architect could be God the, there's, there's evidence to back that up in the semantic field of religion the words light, Quran, luminous script making us think of Bibles and holy books um, an architect controls our metaphorical world uh, uh, and also uh, some believe created the world we live in and this has a kind of transcendental air to it. It goes beyond the physical world, beyond the here and now. Um, and uh, Dakar writes, never wish to build again with brick. Um, so what she's talking about is that we can use paper when we write poems, for example, to try and build something spiritual, something much longer lasting than physical buildings. Perhaps that's the kind of building with paper that she is interested in. Okay, well thank you for watching these videos and I hope you find them useful.